We copy you down, Eagle. The parabolic flight is, uh, is, is essentially uh, a free fall condition. So it's that microgravity or micro G condition of free fall. Orbiting platforms such as International Space Station are also in free fall. Uh, they're just going fast enough where they don't hit the Earth. So it's that microgravity or micro G condition of free fall that uh, station exhibits. We can do the same thing with uh, aircraft. The maneuver takes us approximately uh, 8 to 9,000 vertical feet. Um, we're going to climb at 45 to 52 degrees nose high. Um, at near maximum uh, airspeed. The parabolic, the top parabola, it prescribes a ballistic trajectory, a nice arc. There's no net G, so you get the, the free fall micro G uh, environment. The current aircraft we're flying is uh, a C-9 that's uh, been repurposed from the Navy after it was accessed uh, through them. The major modifications we've done to the aircraft are not typically structural, electrical, hydraulic. Um, they're actually for the interior to provide a laboratory environment. Our laboratory just happens to fly. There's some things you cannot test on the ground. I, I, I did those things, I built those things. This was the only environment I was able to do that. When you actually see it working the way that it theoretically should be, it's, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's an aha moment that's really pretty cool. It is amazing to see that little light go on in people's eyes when it's like, I get it. NASA has recently decided that there's no need for a uh, parabolic flight, so as of this summer we'll be, we'll be shutting down all the capabilities that, that NASA has for parabolic flight. It's, 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 a, we're, it's a losing uh, a national capability, unfortunately. The only way right now that we can simulate the gravity on Moon, Mars, asteroids is parabolic flight. If that's truly in our future. We're getting rid of the only laboratory we have to test these things. We should be flying the things that are unique, that are different, that are one-timers, that are first-timers. We should be developing this stuff to get it back. That's one of NASA's big charters, is to get that technology back into American industry that the American taxpayer paid for. Personally, I believe we've done a good job here. I believe we've provided a great service.